And since you guys have started covering alkenes, we should also see what happens with alkenes. Well, alkenes are in this region. So here we're looking at uh, hydrogens on an alkene carbon. A hydrogen on an alkene carbon, it would, be, it would be nice if they were just in the 5 to 10 region because then the alkenes would be 0 to 5 and the alkenes would be 5 to 10. Uh, but sadly, a lot of the alkenes are between 4.5 and 5. But we can still roughly split up the spectrum into two kind of halves. So you can see basically the right-hand half of the spectrum from 0 to 5 is mainly regular alkane hydrogens. And the left-hand side of the spectrum uh, from 4.5 to 10 is where we find the alkene hydrogens as a rule of thumb. And again, you can split this up into two regions. Um, if there's no electronegative atoms on the carbon, you'd probably be in this region from 4.5 to 7.5. But on the other hand, if I put a chlorine over here, maybe that would get the hydrogen up to here or maybe even here. Maybe I shouldn't say 7.5, maybe I should say 7, since we started at 4.5 here. Um, so um, with no chlorine, the hydrogen would probably be in this region. But if I add the chlorine, it might get up to here or maybe here, basically. So again, the electronegative atoms are pulling us to the left in the alkene region uh, over here. Um, so you can see alkene hydrogens absorb at lower field than alkane hydrogens. And uh, there's an explanation in your textbook for why that is, but uh, we're not going to go over that today. So we'll just memorize alkene carbons absorb at a lower field than alkane. So again, the right-hand part of the spectrum is basically the alkane hydrogen side, and the left-hand side is basically the alkene. Um, you probably would never see an alkene that's to the left of 10. Um, but there's some other functional groups that you uh, might not study until next semester that are between 10 and 12. Actually, uh, aldehyde hydrogens, I think, um, are between like them. Triple bonds. Triple bonds are actually, I think, a lower shift than alkenes. Triple bonds might be, say, in this region. I'd have to look that up. I don't have that memorized. Oh, so. So, but actually, yeah, you would think, logically speaking, that an alkene would just intensify the effect of the al of the alkyne would intensify the effect of the alkene. But I actually think that the um, the, the chemical shift tends to be a little bit less for the alkynes. Uh, but that would be something you'd have to look up. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So again, uh, you guys might not see any shifts between 10 and 12, but I think aldehyde hydrogens would be up here. Okay. But that doesn't come up too much. Okay. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to give you some rough rules of thumb for interpreting this. But if you're doing a hard spectrum and you're really struggling, you should actually look up specific numbers in your textbook, in the tables, to get more precise predictions. But a lot of the time, you don't need those precise numbers. A lot of time, what I just talked about, what I just talked about is enough.